Why did I choose to become a mechanic? Well, it started early on. Always loved airplanes, lived near an airport when I was a kid. Wanted to get my hands on them as soon as possible. Kind of started when you were younger, see airplanes flying around. It drove me to the military side, worked on helicopters in the military. And when I got out, figured I'd do the same thing in the civilian world. My dad was a, is still is an A&P mechanic and he's done that my whole life. And then when I got my chance, I fell in love with it. I like working with my hands. I don't like sitting at a desk all day and looking at data sheets. It's very fulfilling work. You are taking an aircraft with passengers, pilots, air crews, and putting those people in the air with an aircraft that you may have done critical repairs to. If you've got a plane that's down and it needs to get out, that's the first thing you jump on. I really enjoy a plane coming in with a problem and troubleshooting the problem, fixing it, and then seeing it fly. It's just really rewarding. My favorite part about being an a and is the people. Being a female in a male-dominated field has been relatively easy for me. I get along with the guys. We just kind of treat each other like family and get the job done. I walk into the school and I don't think about the fact that I'm a girl. I'm here to learn to be a mechanic. Current industry projections show that the number of mechanics being produced by schools and the military globally is being far outpaced by the need. Mechanics are aging out of the workforce at the same rate as, as pilots are. The demand is there for the AMP mechanics. So you get your AMP, you get out in the world. What U.S. Aviation has done here in Denton is create a school that is embedded with an actual Part 145 repair station. We are located with an active maintenance operation, so the mentality of the instructors, uh, the qualifications of the instructors, uh, the resources available to the school are better than what you would find in an average airframe power plant school. The nice thing about our program is you're immersed from the start. You're in the hangars here, we've got maintenance going on all around. You open up the hangar doors and you got aircraft that's taxiing by. Right from the start, you're in aviation, you're in aviation maintenance. I chose U.S. Aviation Academy because it was the most cost efficient and fast way to get through and onto the floor. So a typical path is two years, but U.S. Aviation does something great. They offer it in a year. The U.S. Aviation Part 147 Mechanic School is a one-year program. What you'll find looking around is that most programs are anywhere from 24 to 36 months in length, whereas this course is just all about getting you in and getting you certified, properly trained, and out the door and on the way to your career. It's a small class and lots of hands-on training with the instructor. The instructors come from a very wide background. You've got instructors here that have worked on blimps, fighter jets, twin turbine, helicopters, military aircraft, passenger airliners. So the instructors bring a wealth of knowledge that they can pass on to the students. Well, the skills you learn as a airframe and power plant mechanic, a &P, transfer to anything that's going to use hydraulics, pneumatics, electricity. The one year time frame on the course to some seems a bit intimidating, but what you're getting from the course is a certification to go out and be legally able to work on aircraft. I think the coolest part about being a mechanic is always learning something new. To me, an a and license is a license to learn. So you're never going to stop learning. There's always going to be something new. Everything you're going to do is going to be to a public standard, and there's always going to be somebody around to help you out, guide you through. So once you get it, you can get in the field and really start learning. In general, the Dallas-Fort Worth area is very aviation heavy. There is no shortage of jobs in the local area. In fact, if you graduate from the U.S. Aviation Academy Part 147 Mechanic School, you may end up working for us at U.S. Aviation. How I feel working for U.S. Aviation is I actually love it. It's a great atmosphere and you're treated like family.
I just say to do it. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. I don't regret being an AP at all. I'm so glad that I went ahead and got my license.